everyone, welcome back to my channel. With Lent coming up very soon here, I wanted to show you a very quick recipe for a simple salad along with two ways to make it a little bit more filling. Eight simple ingredients. Yes, there are eight simple ingredients. I'll show you those now. So, it's basically a caprese salad, but this is how I make it. I start off with some lettuce mozzarella cheese, a tomato or multiple tomatoes depending how many you want to make, some pepper and garlic. These aren't essential but I think it tastes a little bit better if you add them in. Basil, fresh basil is my favorite. In the summer we usually have a basil plant and I will pull off the leaves and then cut them with herb scissors but uh, for today I'm just using packaged basil. Yeah. Shout out to the babies in the back. Yeah. Some olive oil yeah. and some balsamic vinaigrette. You can make your own. I love this one from Trader Joe's and it is a huge favorite with both my husband and our daughter. Don't you think? Yeah. She loves to eat tons of salad with this stuff. So it's called the Trader Giotto's Glaze if you're interested. But if you go to the grocery store, they do sell balsamic glazes. And we find that they're a little sweeter and thicker in consistency. But of course, you can make your own. And I just eyeball everything. But I, my main point is that this is a really quick salad that looks somewhat fancy. So I'll show you what I do. So first, I take wherever I'm going to put my salad in a serving dish. So I'm using this one right here. And then I take some of my green leaf lettuce. I like to use fresh green leaf lettuce. And I will pick the bigger pieces up and position them on my plate like so. And I just try to have a little bit of a base as you can see right here. And then I take my mozzarella and I do the same thing. Ta-da! So now that I have everything sliced up, here comes the easy part. I take my serving tray and I'll usually pick the ugliest tomato and start it there. And then I just alternate tomato cheese. And then on the end, I like to leave off with a nicely shaped tomato or piece of cheese. And then sometimes I'll take any additional cheese and kind of stuff it under and play around with it to see what I think looks nice. Okay, and then from here, I take my basil and I just sprinkle it all over, so. Already it looks a lot nicer. Then I add a little bit of pepper just to give it some additional spice. And I'm totally eyeballing this. Then some garlic powder and I'll be kind of generous with the garlic powder. Next, just for some pizzazz, I drizzle a little bit of olive oil and I just go like this and drizzle it. My favorite thing about this particular container of balsamic glaze is the nozzle is very small as you can see so it makes it really easy to apply but I just drizzle it on in a zigzag motion just like that and there you have it that's what it looks like Another variation would be to add in some avocado. So let me show you what I do with that. And just scoop it out and add it around the edges. This salad would also be good with fish or your favorite soup. One final way to serve this would be on bread. I would use a white bread, but you could do wheat bread, and just put it on there. You could toast the bread first, place your ingredients on, add the balsamic glaze last, 
and it tastes so good heated up on really good bread. So that's another option if you would like this recipe to be more filling. Thank you for watching, I hope this helped you. If you have any favorite salad recipes that you like to use during the Lenten season, feel free to share those below. Thank you and have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye everyone.